Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this system of equation? From what we have here, let's label this as equation 1, then this as equation 2. And from equation 1, what we have there, we have x plus y equals to 20. Then from here, let's make y the subject, and this becomes y equals to 20 minus x then from equation 2 we have x times y equals to 44 and from here when we substitute the value of y here as 20 minus x this becomes x into bracket 20 minus x then equals to 44 on this side and from here we can use x here to open the brackets and we have 20x minus x square equals to 44 and also here when we rearrange and take 44 here this gives us minus x square plus 20x then minus 44 then equals to zero from here and here we can multiply through by minus one so as to remove this minus and this becomes x square then minus 20 x plus 44 now equals to zero from here then from here we can solve this using the quadratic formula here we have a to be equals to 1 b equals to minus 20 and c equals to 44 and here from the formula we have x now equals to minus minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 44 then over 2 times 1 that is here yeah, we have this becomes x equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 20 plus or minus square root of here yeah, 20 square we have 400 then minus 4 times 1 times 44 we have 176 then over 2 from here which also will give us x equals to 20 plus or minus square root of here give us 224 now then divided by 2 and when we simplify further yeah we can rewrite 224 here as 16 times 14 that is here this becomes x equals to 20 plus or minus square root of 16 times 14 here then over 2 and when we have root a times b here this can be written as root a times root b that is we separate this and we have x now equals to 20 plus or minus root 16 times root 14 here then over 2 and root 15 here same thing as 4 so we have 20 we have x now equals to 20 plus or minus 4 root 14 then over 2 and from here we have 2 common here when we factor that we have x now equals to 2 into bracket 10 left here then plus or minus 2 root 14 left here then divided by 2 from here and these two cancel out then we have x equals to 
10 plus or minus 2 root 14 from here. And from here, we have two values of x. x1 here equals to 10 plus 2 root 14. And the second value of x, x2 equals to 10 minus 2 root 14. Then also here, we can get the corresponding value of y from the relation we have, which is y equals to 20 minus x. And here, y1 will then give us 20 minus x here we have 10 plus 2 root 14. Then, when we solve from here, this minus we open this bracket and this becomes y1 equals to 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 14 and here 20 minus 10 here that's 10 so we have y1 equals to 10 minus 2 root 14 then we can conclude from this side that x comma y which is now x1 comma y1 here we give us 10 plus 2 root 14 then comma 10 minus 2 root 14 and also when we solve on this side for y2 using this same relation here then we have y2 now equals to 20 minus x2 which is 10 minus 2 root 14 and from here we have y2 now equals to 20 minus 10 then minus 10 minus become plus that's plus root 2 root 14 then we have y2 give us 20 minus 10 here that's 10 then plus 2 root 14 and also here the second solution which is x2 y2 then we give us x2 there we have 10 minus 2 root 14 then y2 we have 10 plus 2 root 14 and also from here we can see that for the x1 here same thing as the y2 here and also the y1 here same thing as the x2 here then we can check if this satisfies the given problem from equation one we have x plus y equals to 20. now when we use this four set of solution and uh, we had this together x plus y will become 10 plus 2 root 14 plus 10 minus 2 root 14 with that be equals to 20 and here 2 root 14 minus 2 root 14 these cancel each other then we have 10 plus 10 left which is 20 now equals to 20 left hand side equals to right hand side and therefore that satisfies the equation 1 then also for the equation 2 which is x times y equals to 44 now when we multiply x that's 10 plus 2 root 14 then times y that's 10 minus 2 root 14 with that give us 44 on this side then this follows here that we have conjugate sort which we can write as 10 square minus 2 root 14 all squared is this equals to 44 and here 10 squared that's 10 times 10 which is 100 then minus here 2 squared that's 4 so this is 4 times here square cancel square root here that's 14 
is it equals to 44 and here from here we have 100 minus 4 times 14 here this gives us 60 56 here then is it equals to 44 then here 100 minus 56 that's 44 and which is equals to 44 so left hand side also equals to the right hand side and from here it also satisfy the equation 2 and since the first set of solutions satisfy also the second set of solution will satisfy thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell share this video and give it a thumbs up and see you next class Bye for now.